This week on another episode of Time to Get Social, we're talking about if you should choose an agency or an in-house employee to run your social media marketing and why, because there's some pretty major differences and I'm gonna cover those today. Neither of them is wrong, neither of them is right. It just depends what kind of business you're running and what you're looking to build. So let's get right into it. You're tired of doing your social media on your own and it's time to either hire an in-house employee freelancer, contractor, or outsource completely to an agency. There's gonna be some things that you're gonna to want to consider. Neither of them, like I've said, is right or wrong, it just depends on your business. So the big core differences here are this. We'll start with in-house employees, okay? So if you're gonna hire someone, now when I say hire someone for the purpose of this video, it could be a full-timer, a part-timer, a freelancer, a contractor. The point is you're gonna get a single individual who you're gonna pay regularly to handle your social media marketing. And I'll start by saying that is a great idea because as a business owner, you have better things to do with your time. Um, it comes to a point where you shouldn't be worrying about posting and content creation. You need someone to do that for you because you know it's super important, but you just don't have the time to do it. So it's a great start either way, and I like that you're thinking about it. Now, if you start with an in-house employee, someone you're gonna hire an individual, some of the benefits are they're working only for you, right? You get more time, you get to see them face to face. This is good if you don't really know what you're doing with your marketing yet, right? If you're really on the fence, you're changing ideas all the time, you don't really have any content, no base, maybe your products and services are still changing, your business is still in this, this early transformational stage where things are constantly changing, it's probably better to have someone in-house that you can see face-to-face, -face, talk to every day, um, is in the office, knows your other team members, knows you, because they're gonna be more flexible, right? It's easier to change things on the fly, share new plans, share new products, share new services, um, test things, right? Um, that's one of the big benefits. The other benefit is uh, you're gonna have someone who's only working for you. They're not distracted by other companies because in reality that can happen. Um, not saying that's what happens with the agency, but that can happen in certain situations where you hire teams or you outsource overseas uh, and whatnot. I'll tell you how to avoid that. But one of the biggest benefits of having an employee is really that long-term growth. They can be with you for life and potentially you might actually be able to build an entire team. So if you're planning to scale a very large company and you wanna open your own marketing team within that company, start with an in-house employee, training them exactly how you want it, especially if you're very particular about your marketing um, and you feel like you're very controlling, you're very hands-on, you like to have your fingers kind of on everything, then having the in-house employee is great. You can train them the way you want them to, to do the work, exactly how you think it should be done, follow exactly your strategies, um, and then you can basically elevate them and hire more people below them, having them run that team, manage that team, and you can really scale a marketing team within your own company. So what I'm getting at is an in-house employee is ideal if you A, like to have your hands on everything. You have a very specific way of how you do everything. You're not ready to hand that off. You're not gonna listen to somebody else's expertise. You just wanna do it your way. Hire the in-house employee. It is more flexible. They're gonna stay with you forever and you can eventually build a team based on those philosophies. Now, the downside of an in-house employee, you're gonna have to train them. Right. Many times you're gonna have to show them how to do everything. You're gonna have to lay out strategies for them. You're gonna have to kind of really hold their hand, especially if you're getting someone young and out of school in your company, because um, that's what's gonna be affordable. Of course, you're probably not gonna wanna spend 100 grand a year on some marketing director yet. Um, you're gonna have to do a lot of handholding, a lot of training. They're not gonna be experts in this. They're not gonna have done this hundreds of times you're really gonna be the first time they're doing this. And so you have to be comfortable with them making a lot of mistakes, a slow learning curve, all of these things. And that's where it really brings me into, into the agency side. But before I even get there, when you do hire, it depends how you hire them. But if you hire a full-timer, part-timer, an actual in-house staff member, there's other considerations, like one, the pay, right? Even a minimum wage employee at this point is almost making three grand a month, right? Whatever it is, 2,500 a month. Minimum wage at this point is, is about three grand a month, which is about $36,000 a year. And that's to get someone out of school, new employee, young, no training, no experience. You still got to do all the handholding and you're spending about 36 grand a year, right? So that, that's a big consideration, right? Now, agencies kind of solve this problem. So how do you figure out if an agency is right for your business instead? Because maybe you're like, you know what? I don't want to hire someone. I don't want to have to deal with training them and holding their hand and spending all this money and having this long-term commitment and having benefits and all that. So you may want to consider an agency. So an agency is going to be right if you have a proven business model, right? And what I mean by that is a proven sales cycle, a proven product or service. Like you're in the market, you know what you're doing. You just need someone to give that a push. Everything is set up properly. You're ready for leads, you're ready for calls, emails, fulfillment. Your business is ready to go 
and you're not particular about how they're gonna market. Like you obviously have your standards and your branding and all this, but you're not looking to hold anyone's hand. You want an expert to come in and show you how to run the marketing to scale that business using proven tactics and strategies that they've already tried and tested with other businesses. So you're not the scapegoat, you're, they're not coming there to learn, they're coming to you with proven strategies that work every single time. That's the benefit of an agency. But to make that work, you have to A, be willing to, uh, give up that control, not fully. Like agencies will still match your branding, of course, and really try to match your messaging and all your direction and listen to all your goals and listen to all your visions. But they're gonna come in with their own idea of, listen, we've done this hundreds of times. Here's what's working. Here's what's working for other clients. Here's what's working in your industry. Here's the most up-to-date and current strategies that we're testing. Um, they're gonna come to you with answers. Right, and that, that's a huge benefit. You have to be willing to give up that control a little bit though, right? If you still don't know what you're doing, you don't know what you want, you don't know what's happening with your products and services, it's probably not gonna be a great fit. The other benefit to agencies is flexibility, right? They have an entire team behind them. They're working at different hours. They can work more, they can work less. You can add on products and services. You can remove products and services. You have a lot of flexibility when you're working with an agency. You also get a giant pool of expertise. You don't just get one person, you get an entire team. You might have graphic designers, media producers, account managers, uh, creative directors, the actual account executives and managers. You have a bunch of people working with you. You're not just getting one individual. So you're backed by an entire pool of resources. They also have a much larger combined pool of knowledge and experience. They've done this, like I said, hundreds of times, thousands of times, potentially spent millions of dollars. They're not gonna be testing things with your money. They're coming to you with results, with actual proven strategies and tactics and they're ready to go. You just have to show up with a proven business model, a great product, a great service, a great sales process, and they're gonna drive you as many leads and sales as you need, right? But the biggest benefit to all of this is you get all this experience, like we said, you get all this flexibility, you get an entire team, but the cost actually isn't any higher than really hiring someone in-house. Right? So like our agency, the most common retainer is anywhere from three to five grand a month. So let's take the three grand a month. That's about 36,000 a year, the same as a minimum wage employee. But for the same cost of a minimum wage employee, you're getting someone managing all your social media, an entire team of resources and support, like literally years and years of experience across all the different staff members, millions of dollars in experience of spending and actually running marketing, potentially working with dozens of companies in even your specific industry. So you're getting all of this just like hands-on high level marketing support and service for the same price as basically a minimum wage employee, right? So that's one of the biggest, biggest benefits is sometimes people hear a fee for, for an agency, it's three grand a month or five grand a month, and they say, well, that's a lot of money, right? Well, not really, because what's your alternative? You can take up all of your own time, which is gonna cost you a lot more, or you can hire a minimum wage employee who's gonna know nothing, right? They're right out of school, you can give them 2,500 bucks or three grand a month, and you're gonna train them from scratch, hold their hand every day, check on what they're doing, provide them with whatever it is, right? Benefits or CPP or EI, all the equipment they're gonna use, all the training they're gonna need, so many more like commitments you have to make. Whereas an agency, if you have a great business model and you're ready to go, you can just hand it off, they'll take over, they'll run everything, you have nothing to worry about, no, no liability. And the best part is if they don't work out, you just get rid of them, right? Many agencies like us, we don't have really long-term contracts and all of our long-term contracts have three month trial periods. So before anyone actually commits to working with us, they already know exactly what we do. They've already worked with us for three months so they can leave at any point if it doesn't work out. You don't have to worry about like severance pay or legal proceedings or this or that or vacation. It's just, it's so much simpler. But the caveat is agencies really only work well if your business works well. We're not in the business of fixing or re rebuilding businesses. We wanna come in with clients and partners that have a great product, a great service, a great sales pro uh, process that we can just drive forward, drive traffic, drive leads, and really build, right? We don't have to come in and go, oh, that product, you should change that pricing, or you might have to change that color, or that website hasn't been redone in 15 years, or we don't wanna come in and fix everything. We wanna come in and have a great partner that we can work with and scale, and that's the only caveat. If you don't have that yet, that's the only time I would probably consider hire someone in house, right? or the only other reason is you have a vision that you want all of your team members to be in-house for whatever reason, that's fine as well. But those are the two main differences between working with an agency or an in-house employee. So it's up to you to decide. If you wanna learn more about what we do as an agency, go to www.suitsocial.com. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe, drop a comment below, and I will see you next Wednesday for the next episode of Time to Get Social.